It's not a good time for TV watchers nowadays. Big and long-running TV shows are being cancelled left and right. As we speak, three very big shows across TV have come to an end or are coming to it. We are talking about Station 19 and Young Sheldon, both of which are concluding a seven-season run, as well as Blue Bloods which is ending after an impressive 14 seasons. What will happen to each show and its cast members? Find out everything we know at the moment. What will happen to the cast of Station 19? The fact that Station 19 was cancelled so soon after reaching the milestone of 100 episodes made the cast and crew's celebration all the more bittersweet. The popular program was cancelled in December 2023 but granted one more season to wind things up because its ratings were not as high as those of 911. The majority of the performers haven't secured new roles, which is not surprising. Another reason co-stars Jaina Lee Ortiz and Jay Hayden have made headlines is because, up until recently, they had been dating but kept their off-screen relationship a secret. As a result, they could be eager to spend some time together before one of them accepts a new job. Ben and Karina may now resume their own program because Station 19 is a spin-off of Grey's Anatomy, which is fantastic news. The two will visit Grey's one more time before Station 19 leaves, as the showrunners have already revealed. Although they don't intend to bring them back on a full-time basis, they have expressed excitement about including them in further crossover episodes once Station 19 concludes. Young Sheldon gets another spin-off. The Big Bang Theory brand is still growing even further. This autumn, CBS will premiere Georgie and Mandy's First Marriage, a spin-off starring Young Sheldon stars Montana Jordan, Georgie, and Emily Osmond, Mandy. Although there could be chances for cameo appearances, None of the other young Sheldon stars are included in this series. Although Sheldon is said to be embarking on his Caltech journey, there's no reason why Annie Potts, Meemore, Reagan Revered, Missy, or Zoe Perry, Mary, can't stop by sometimes. If they really wanted to bring Lance Barber back, they could even make brand new flashbacks of George Sr. Despite not being in the upcoming spin-off, Reward has some big news coming up. She runs an Instagram book club for young adults and is also a writer and voracious reader. Rules for Fake Girlfriends, her debut young adult book, will be available in the fall of 2025. Although Ian Armitage is not now working, he is a gifted actor who will probably make a lot of money. Fans who aren't able to get enough of him may catch his acting debut on Peacock in Law & Order, SVU Season 18 Episode 8. Blue Bloods Ending With a Bang The stars of Blue Bloods are still determined to save the show. An ongoing campaign to preserve Blue Blood has been started by fans in response to the devastating news of the show's cancellation. Despite the news that Blue Bloods would conclude in December 2024, which CBS revealed at upfronts, devoted viewers and even some of the cast haven't let that stop them. Tom Selleck recently told CBS how he continues to hold out hope that CBS will come to their senses. His co-star Gregory J. Barra also spoke about just helplessly hoping that the show's ratings would be so amazing that CBS extends their last season to at least until May. Most of the stars haven't started booking their next engagement since there is still half a season of Blue Bloods to be recorded for the autumn, and they haven't lost up on obtaining more despite CBS's decision to cancel the show. Selleck does not have any new acting gigs but the interview we quoted him on was during the promotion of his new memoir, You Never Know, from its May 6th release. Many of his BB stars were in attendance, including Bridget Moynihan who hosted him for a Q&A at the event.